The church leaders say they were not ready to participate in what they termed as public baraza that is said to discuss matters which they were not informed in advance, saying that there must be structures to discuss burning issues. Situithania ya kwamba tunenda pale viongozi wa chache tukaza kujadiriana. Tulipofika pale tukakuta kwamba pia kuna live coverage. Sa tukaona kwa sababu sisi tunakilisha vikundi mbali mbali. Hatuwezi kuzungumza kukata kauli kabla hatujauliza vile vikundi ambavyo tunakilisha wanasemaje wanaonaje. Kwa hivyo tukaona hatuwezi kuhusika na mkutano wa aina wa aina hiyo. Addressing journalists after they walked out of the meeting expected to discuss proposed regulations on local religious organizations, the church leaders accused the government of planning to limit churches. Now the father informed the government that there is no religious crisis in the country after a TV station exposed how a Nairobi pastor flaced his congregation by faking miracles. It is very unfair and illogical of the government to attempt to control and muzzle all religious institutions by introducing new regulations that are not in line with the law. In conclusion, we say we conclude by urging all Kenyans to remain calm. We guys says the government has no intention of regulating the church. The government has a legal, a political, and a moral responsibility to ensure that religious organizations perform their work in an environment that is peaceful, in an environment that fosters social justice, and an environment that helps in the spiritual development of our nation. The AG had earlier directed existing religious organizations to file details on their current status and financial returns with the Registrar of Societies. Now, among the details that the organizations are required to furnish the Registrar with are a copy of Kenya Revenue Authority's personal identification numbers, among other things.